Well, all new tonight, it seems we have seen them just about everywhere off the Cape. Sharks even attacking one man who was swimming on vacation. And tonight, a researcher has an idea that would actually try to keep them away from the beach. WBZ's Christina Hager shows us how magnets could be used to repel sharks. At the site of the latest Cape Cod shark attack, the entrance to Long Nook Beach is plastered with warnings. I don't swim out there anymore. And as the man caught in the jaws of a great white here two weeks ago now begins to share his story, the reason why it's one UMass Dartmouth researcher is sharing a potential solution. These animals have a very unique electrosensory system. Dr. Craig O'Connell recorded this video running tests in the Bahamas by burying bait under a superpower magnet. When sharks charged for it, they suddenly stopped short and left. Then he embedded the magnets into a barrier of PVC pipes. In the middle, I put about 20 pounds of tuna. We had about 63 different great whites trying to get through the barrier to the bait. They never did. As daily reports of shark sightings close Cape Cod beaches, O'Connell now wants to test his magnets here on the Cape. I think it would be a really great place to test out. The, the state's shark biologist, Greg Skomel, says he's open to testing here, but questions how it would stand up to the Cape's rough surf. As for swimmers, would it make you feel better about going in the water? It would. I think so, if it was proven to work. <laughs> You're not going to line the entire ocean with a... It would be impractical. Researchers have come up with other ways for repelling sharks. There's an underwater spray. There's a bracelet that gives off electric waves. The jury is still out on how effective any of this will be, but there is no question the interest in keeping the sharks at bay is here. In Truro, Christina Hager, WBC News.